Alrighty, so this artery right here is a common carotid artery. Right here is where the common sinus would be. This is the internal carotid artery and the external carotid artery. And right here, which is hard to see, is the ophthalmic artery. And here, coming off the hyoid bone, is the superior thyroid artery. And this is the ascending pharyngeal artery. And above it is the lingual artery. And then the facial artery right here. And then it can also be seen on the mandible right here. The facial artery can also be seen right here. And then this artery is the ascending palatine artery. Right here is the submental artery and the inferior labial artery. Back onto the actual skull on the um, maxilla, we can see the superior labial artery and then the angular artery. And then the occipital artery, it's hard to see, but it's running right here and it also can be seen on our neck right here. And then also right above it is a posterior auricular artery, which can also be seen going across the mastoid. And then the maxillary artery is this one. And then the first branch of the maxillary artery is the middle meningeal artery. And then the inferior alveolar artery and the mylohyoid artery. And then the mental artery can be seen next to the mental foramen, or I guess coming out of it, as well as the incisive artery. And then this artery, <coughs> artery running along the ramus is the mesetric artery. This is the pterygoid artery. Moving back onto the skull, right here is called the deep temporal artery. And this one right here is the buccal artery. And this is the PSA artery. And next to it is the descending palatine artery. Flipping the skull over, we are able to see the GP artery and the LP artery. And this right here that comes out that frame in is the infraorbital artery. And then this is the ASA artery and the MSA artery. This is the sphenopalatine artery. And on, on the palatine right here is the nasopalatine artery. And then on the temporal bone right here is the superficial temporal artery, which can also be seen on the neck right here. And this is the transverse facial artery, the middle temporal artery, frontal branch of superficial temporal artery, and then the parietal branch of the superficial temporal artery. Now moving on to veins, right here we can see the internal jugular vein, and right here is the facial vein, and then the submental vein can be seen on the inferior portion of the um, mandible. Then this vein right here is the inferior labial vein. And then the superior labial vein can be seen right here. And running up along the side is the angular vein going up the nasal bone. And then right here is the supraorbital vein. And coming off that, down into here is the um, op ophthalmic veins, this one and this one. And right here is the lingual vein, which is also seen on the tongue. My tongue fell off, but it would look it like that. And then connecting to the hyoid bone is the superior thyroid vein. And then <clears throat> right here would be the cavernous venous sinus. And this vein is the PSA vein. And then this is the pterygoid venous plexus. Then on the mandible, this is the maxillary vein, which can also be seen on our neck 
right here. And coming off the maxillary vein, this branch right here is the IA vein. And this is the mental vein, which also goes into the mental foramen. And then this vein is the superficial temporal vein, which can also be seen right here on the neck. And then on the side of the maxilla, this vein is a deep facial vein. And then coming out of the plexus is the emiss emissary veins. Back to the mandible. Right here is the retromandibular vein, which also can be seen right here as it crosses. And then the lighter blue is the external jugular vein. And following that up right here is the occipital vein. And above that, the posterior auricular vein. And this is the anterior jugular vein.